Okay, it looks as though Joe Joyce will take on Lenroy Thomas for the Commonwealth Heavyweight title on May 5th on the Hey Bell You rematch undercard. Joe Joyce had been looking for a big fight. He'd been hoping to get Derek Chisora in the ring, but Chisora is not keen on that one. He's priced himself out several times. So Lenroy Thomas apparently is going to step in on May 5th. Uh, if they're paying Thomas, I mean, I can't imagine they're paying Thomas anywhere near as much as they were offering Chisora. But, I mean, even if they offer him half of what they offer Chisora, I'm pretty sure he'd jump at a chance. He's not a guy who often gets called up to get any type of serious paydays. Uh, boxing is not a massive sport in the Caribbean. I know Lenroy Thomas is, I believe, based in the United States, but he is Jamaican. So he's going to take any opportunity he can get. The Joe Joyce fight has come up. Let's see uh, if this fight gets signed. Go and buy this article on BoxingScene.com. Uh, they say they've got information which suggests that this fight is going to happen. Joe Joyce versus Lemroy Thomas. What do you guys think about this one? Can Joe Joyce beat Lemroy Thomas? And it will be a good name on the resume for Joe Joyce to have this so early on in his career. What is he now? 3-0? Is he 3-0 or 4-0? I think he's 3-0, isn't he? So for a 3-0 guy in his full fight to take on the Commonwealth champion and potentially if he wins it, that's definitely the kind of start that Joe Joyce was looking for in his career. He hasn't got the fights that he wanted so far in terms of the Chisora fight. But in boxing and sometimes in life, if you aim high, like very high, you may not get there, but you'll at least get close. And I guess Lemroy Thomas is a good consolation for Joe Joyce for not getting a Chisora fight. So let me know how you think this one will go. Do you think Joe Joyce will win? Uh, I think Joe Joyce is going under the radar a little bit for a lot of boxing fans because he does have such an ugly style he does look so novicey which is as i said before very bizarre because he was a highly seasoned international amateur he fought in the world series of boxing which is kind of like a semi-pro league a vastly experienced man before he turned pro but still has this novicey look about him the way he throws his punches the way he moves around, just a strange, novicey, clunky kind of look. I guess that's just how he is. Some people pick things up easier than others. But the point being, Joe Joyce has been effective in doing what he does. All could be effective. Like when he fought Ian Lewison, for example, he didn't just stand in front of Ian Lewison. He was moving around the ring. He was jabbing Ian Lewison's head off. Even though it looked ugly, it was working. You know, he wasn't standing there to be hit. So, against Lemroy Thomas, I'm going to be interested to see how he approaches it. Is he going to pressure Lemroy Thomas? Is he going to keep him at the end of a jab? You know, I mean, even when we saw Joe Joyce in his last fight against that guy, I can't remember his name. The guy was like seven feet tall or close to it. And we saw Joe Joyce doing his best David Hay impression in that fight. I guess that's what Ishmael Salas and David Hay have been working on. Movement, having Joe Joyce loosen up a little bit, jump in with power shots, with explosive punches. What kind of style are we going to see from Joe Joyce this time around? More of the David Hay clone type stuff? Or the Joe Joyce from the amateurs where he was pressing forward and attacking? Or the stick and move merchant that we saw in the uh, the fight against Ian Lewison. We'll find out. I'm interested to see anyway. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm out.